You are now listening to the Highly Evolved Podcast with your host, Safan. Transmission will commence momentarily. How are you guys doing? This is the Highly Evolved Podcast. My name is Safan. First thing first, let me say that if you are a communist, Marxist, fascist, socialist, SJW, please exit the channel. This channel is only for patriots. And on that note, let's start the show. On this episode, I want to talk about an article that I just stumbled upon about 20 Indian students commit suicide after exam result. All right. If you want to read the article, I'll leave the description on. I'll leave the article in the description below. And let's start the article. It said 20 Indian students commit suicide after exam result. All right. Uh, 20 student has committed suicide in Indian this past week after a Board of Intermediate Education, BIE, announced that their exam score, which which Kali, Kali Hatan report, that's a publication, right, have been marked in the controversy after there were discrepancy in the result. Nearly one million students took the exam between February and March. And nearly 350,000, 1 million and 350,000 failed because of the widespread protests from parents, student group, and political parties. One student named Sri Shah, I can't pronounce this word, Sherry Shah, was f- failing biology and set herself on fire at her home in the Narayapet district on Saturday after her parent went out on the field, according to the Kali Ha Time. All right. On Thursday, Chief Minister K. Chandra Kaha Rayo ordered a record and re verification of all students who failed the exam while urging the student to not commit suicide, adding that failing the test does not mean the end of their lives. According to the parent, what causes the student to commit suicide was an error on the part of the software solution firm. Global Re- Global Arena. That's a te- Global Arena Technology Private Limited. That's the company, which has been hired by Telangana BIE to develop a software for processing admin- admission and pre-examination and post-examination result. That's mean they're they're responsible for um, checking the scores. All right. Now let's continue. A three-member panel consists of GT. Venka Stesar Rayo, Manager Director, Telangana State Technology Service, A. Vansa of BITS, Hyderabad, and Nishba Dongari of IT Hyderabad submit this report on Thursday to be, uh, to be, to be, <laughs> let me read it. Submit this report on Thursday to B. Jana Hanaradi, Secretary of High Education, Government of Telangana, which look into Globarina technology. They also made the recommendation to avoid examination laps in future, according to Kal- Kalahi Times. 12 BIE centers are currently in process of evaluating the answers in the sheets of the failed students said Kali Ha Times, with each one handling between seventy to one hundred twenty thousands. Reddy told Kali Ha Times that are that they are just still receiving application, and more than fifty thousand students who passed also applied to re verification because they weren't satisfied with the result. The BIE said they have manpower to handle all the new tests, and they would release a daily bulletin on the status of those needing re-verifications. Answer, were still wanted by the student and parent who protest by the lack of information and re-verification process. They wanted free re-verification of all students according to Kaliha Time. They were denied entry by BIE office and local police. All right. There's a quote. Why should we pay fee for a blunder committed by them, a student told Kaliha Time. A student group also asked 25 lakh, 25 lakh, which which um, referred to $36,000 as compensation 
for the family of each student who committed suicide. Dang, that's that's not that much. But in India, is a it goes a long way to let you guys know. That's a lot in rupees. And um, in 2017, both Andhra Pradesh and Telangana region of India saw more than 50 suicides by students between September and October. On Friday, the National Human Rights Commission (NHRC) issued a notice to the Telangana government seeking a detailed report on the board. All right, basically, they screwed up. I think there might be a software issue, right? The reason why I brought this up because I find it um, interesting that because of a high stress nature within the Asian community, because not people know that, but Indian are considered Asian as well because by default, I mean they don't look like it, but they are Asians, all right, in the same continents. But um, it shows you the type of high stress level. It is to be within the Asian community. It's all about testing, 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 and then when it, when, when the test doesn't appear what they want it to be, they get really, let's say, depressed. You know, there's not this is just doesn't this just does doesn't just exist in um in um India. It exists in Korea, China, Japan, right? And these. These countries I just mentioned, they they get they they have really high standards when it comes to testing. They they expect to be at a certain level. They expect to be cer a certain kind of smart scholastically, right? And then if they don't meet that standards, they feel like they're worthless. That's why they're committing suicide because the whole life is revolve, revolve around getting the best test score, the best, the best, the best, the best, the best, and that's very um how how to how to say it um tone take a lot of toll on your on your psychology psychology you know it's like it's like it's not just in india but in china korea japan the student who failed these entry level exam or any any kind of exam they really they they, they take it really seriously and what what people don't know is that you're not going to pass all these tests i mean i mean don't take it too seriously because like the article said it's not the end of your life right and you shouldn't be taking, I mean, yeah, you fail, but it's, it's not an, a good enough reason for you to kill yourself. I mean, you're not worthless because you don't fail a test, all right? That's why I believe that testing, testing does not necessarily mean that you're smarter than anybody else. doesn't mean you're any better better than anybody else. It's because you can pass a test. doesn't mean you can memorize things. That's what it is. A test is ability to rememorize, right? But when you get older, you, your memory fades, and some of these questions, some of these things that you learn, you probably won't even need to use it in your actual life. You you probably won't even need to apply it. I'm not saying that some of the stuff that you learn, you don't apply it in real life, but the majority of the stuff you learn in school, you don't apply it in real life. So why, why just because you know all these stuff doesn't mean you're smart at critical thinking, at, at instant, like, life-threatening situation. Because it doesn't. Because it's, it's only, to me, a test is only so how much can you remember when you're young. Of course, you can remember when you're young, right? When you're young, you can remember... You can almost remember a lot of stuff, right? But when you get older, some stuff fades away. I mean, some of these stuff, information that these kids are learning, it doesn't, it doesn't. How do I say this? Um, stick to them in life. Some of these stuff they 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 gonna forget. All right. As a, I mean, you probably could re resonate too, because some of the stuff you learn, you probably forget right now. Say like you're my age, right? Some of the stuff I learned in high school, I. I didn't. Re I won't even f f remember, right? Some of the stuff I learned in college, I probably won't even use or remember. All right, I have to go through it and re relearn the whole thing over. So that's why I'm saying test is not necessarily proof that whether you're just smart or not. It's just a way. It's just a way for you to. It was just a way to indicate that you know how to remember things, right? But, but what people don't understand, within time, people memory fades. Their brain is, doesn't work as they used to when they were a little kid, right? The quick response isn't what it used to be. So just because you're doing a test here, that doesn't mean you're the, those tests going to dictate what you can do in the future. All right? So my word of advice to these kids are that just because you fail, don't worry. You can take it again. It's not the end of the, it's not the end of your life. Right? It's just a test. All right? To get into school. Okay? You okay? Is a college exam school? All right? If you fail, there's other way of getting to college. There's multiple ways of getting to college. Right? For these kids who 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 stressing about SAT scores, right? SAT score, ACT score is not the only way for you to get in college. All right, you can get to any a university. 
it might take you a little bit longer, but you could get it. It's not impossible to get into university. Look at me. I, I didn't take my SAT test. I managed to get to into a university. All right. I managed to get into college. All right. It doesn't matter. All right. There's other ways around it. And I mean, you want to take the illegal way, like bribing people. That's another way too. But I don't, I don't condone that. I don't advise that. For me, I didn't take my SAT, so I decided to take the long way, and I eventually got it. You're determined enough to get it. That's what I'm saying. I, I find that, I find it astonishing that that kids will take these testing so seriously. But it's not, it's not, it's not just the kids' fault. I think it, it plays. I think the parent have some kind of responsibility as well. They they're putting this much pressure on a kid, right? You're putting this much pressure like, oh, if you don't if you don't ace the test, you don't get A's, B's, and C's, you're worthless. They keep pulling this ideology in the kid's mind like, oh, you don't pass this test, you're worthless, you're no good, you're not part of this family, you're not my car, da 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 and they put his negative thoughts like if they don't pass the test, you know how much stress it is on a kid? All right? That's a lot of stress for a young kid. To, c- to comprehend and they're and then they're still living their life too and there's a lot of things for them to comprehend as well so so we should i think in my mind we shouldn't apply this that much stress because they got they got their hormones to worry about they got life to worry about and you apply this thing to their life to their mind too. put all these stress and now what's the outcome of it some of them are even go as further as far as committing suicide as killing themselves i might add you know I, you know, it's it's sad. I mean, some of them maybe, maybe in this article it said that uh, the the company that administered the test might have a play a role to this because they might because because um they miscorrect the test. I mean, at some point, I think the company have some blame in this too because they just it's, it's suspiciously that they fill in all these test scores. That's why, you know, look into the operation of how these how these um agency are correcting this test maybe there's some discrepancy maybe some of these kids need to be need to reapply because you know in the article it said these the company failed too and i don't think just because it's the company failed i don't think the people have to be charged double again just to because of their own um subordination of their own failure these companies have to how have to be aligned but when you look at the compensation thirty five thousand for each student that when when thirty five thousand to me and you guys in america that's nothing right Five thousand, but in India, that's a lot of money, all right. We're talking about third world country. Here. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of rupees, all right. They go, they could go a long way, right. So I don't know. I may, I'm not sure. I'm not an uh, economist of India. I'm not sure thirty five thousand, but I will probably demand more than that. But there, but it's it's three hundred people. I mean three hundred and fifty people. Wait, three. Let me see how many people. Well, t- well, they're gonna be compensated um, thirty-five thousand for each student, and they said twenty-two students already killed himself, and they say about they fell about um, three hundred fifty people out of a million. That's basically how I'm not good at math. That's basically um, I don't know what's the percentage on that. That's 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 not even uh, that's not even half a million. That's probably like um, I don't know, a third or fourth. I don't know, I'm not good at math, but you do your own math. But um that's still a lot of money from a small company in India. Thirty five thousand for each student. And imagine if anybody else commits suicide, God forbid if that happens. But uh yeah, that's uh, I just want, I just found this article intriguing that it sh- it sheds some light some it sheds some light uh into how Asian people, Asian commu- commu- Asian society emphasize a lot of pressure on test taking. Right, not just Indian, but Korean, Japanese, Chinese. Right, if you fail your test, you look, you frown upon. All right, and American is totally different. Like if, if you fail a test, I mean, not most American are really can go above and beyond to kill themselves because they fail a test. My, I'm not saying indefinitely, but it rarely happened. But there's 20 people kill themselves. I mean, your test score does not define who you are. That's what I want to say. All right, if you're young, your test score don't define who you are. Is this is this a number, all right? Your test score don't dictate how smart you are. Same goes for your grade. Your A's, B's, and C doesn't dictate how smart you are. That means you're you're more easily um, brainwashed by by these institutions. You know, it means that you are easily indoctrinated by the these institution. All right, that's what it is. I mean, you just can't 
base your life on a grade, base your life on a test score. You're not a number. But, you know, let me know you agree what I think. You know, if you have some opinion, leave your comment below. I'll attach this um, article in the description below, a link, and you can read it. But let me know you agree. You think it's very high stress standards in Asian community? You think you think people should just back up the student and don't pressure them so much? You know, let me know you agree that if the company's responsible for this, need to compensate these people. Let me know you agree. But on that note, guys, I just want to point out that I'm not sponsored. I'm, I'm my my channel's not my channel's demonetized. That's mean I'm not bounded by any outside interference. That means I can say whatever I want. If you like what I'm doing and want to support me, you can like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on social media, Twitter, and get that AI. All right. Um, because of that, I'm not scripted, unedited, and unrehearsed. That means whatever you see is what you get from me. All right. I'm not hiding anything from you. All right. Why would I? I don't feel the need to hide anything from you guys. But if you, if you like what I'm doing, like, share, subscribe. All right. Most definitely subscribe because I'm trying to. Um, spread the word to everybody and let them know how to, you know, let them know what I think and help the world out. Basically, I'm not one. I, want, I don't want. Any, I don't need any conversation with anybody. But on that note, guys, like, share, and subscribe. This is the Highly Vault Podcast. My name is Safan. Thank you for listening, and I will check you guys out on the next broadcast. And on that note, guys, peace.